you guys so today we're gonna talk about gamine makeup again I'm gonna show everything on myself we're gonna go gradually from no makeup makeup look to intense makeup and if you're new you can watch my body types or Kibi image identity series let's look on how gamines look it is the overall balance of a combination of opposites on the yin and yang scale sharply delicate physicality along with a fresh and spicy essence their height is normally five feet five inches and under bone structure is angular sharp narrow sometimes described as delicate square or tapered shoulders tend to narrowness as opposed to broad arms and legs tend to be long body type is straight tends towards flatness in bust and hips unless overweight delicately sharp facial contours nose jaw cheekbones moderate to thin lips narrow or straight as opposed to full taut cheeks and flesh okay let's go to the makeup I chose matte foundation for myself, but as you know guys, my mom is Gamine, and I filmed the video about how I do makeup on her, and she actually looks amazing with slightly dewy foundation, so it's actually up to you what to choose. I will have to make my bone structure on my face slightly more delicate and thin looking. As you can see, my bones are broad, so first I'm gonna pop up that under eye area, it can really freshen the face. Then I'm powdering my face with loose powder. Then I'm taking that contouring powder and I'm gonna contour my face slightly heavier than you should do that. Just because I have to thin my face, make my cheekbones higher. When you, as a gamin, are doing your contouring, it should be crisp and clean contour with slightly sharp outlines. So it should be angularly applied for very slight sharpness but very blended. You don't have to have stripes on your cheeks. I'm also contouring my nose, just making it slightly more delicate, smaller and sharper on all the sides. As far as Gamine's cheekbones are normally taut, they would look amazing with shimmer for dewy effect of the skin. Again, not to make it over the top, not to go too much into the glamorous side of it. Then I'm taking care of my brows. The brows should better be sharp, defined, have good crisp shape. Not over the top defined, of course, to some degree. I want to make my lashes slightly clumpy, slightly heavy, so I'm using that white primer to make my lashes thicker. You can skip this step if you don't like it, but for gamins, that looks amazing. They look like dolls. My mom is over 60, but she looks amazing with clumpy lashes. Then I'm making that little trick with white eyeshadow. I'm applying them on the outer corners of my eyes. That lifts the outer corners up, gives that more staccato effect, shorter eye, which immediately opens it vertically and really can lift the whole face up. Then for freshness, I'm applying some white, half-transparent eyeshadow on my lids. Then I'm applying mascara, several coats of mascara. I try to pull my lashes vertically up and my bottom lashes vertically down for more doll-like staccato effect. I'm adding some color on my lips. I crisply line my lips. Okay, the first makeup is done. Let's add some more. You can take liquid eyeliner. I just don't have one. That's why I'm choosing this. And matte products are better for gamins. The line on the eyes should better be crisp. You can even try a heavy line on yourself. Maybe not elongating the eyes on the sides necessarily, but again, making it more staccato, making it smaller, I kind of work upwards. So if you can see, I'm making the tail right at the outer corner of my eye. I'm not elongating the eye and I made my line thicker in the outer corner. I'm trying to make it very deep, bright black color and very precise. Let's look on some famous gamines. And of course, they're all super different, but they all have something in common. They're not very sultry, juicy and lush with full features, with full cheeks. No, they are drier. They have sharp facial features, sharper bones, smaller bones. Audrey Tattoo is a very good example of a gamine face. So the best makeup for gamines is crisp makeup. It doesn't have to be a lot of makeup, over the top makeup. It's just more of an application manner. Every time we see her with that crisp mouth, let's say, she only has mascara on her eyes here, but the makeup itself does look very crisp. It's not pastel or watercolored. It's not super blended with loads of colors, with shimmers and stuff. No, it's pretty dry. Her face is half matte here. The brows are very precise, very French looking. That looks gorgeous on them. So as here as well, you can see fresh blush, crisp red lips, some lashes and she's good to go very fresh. They look amazing with heavy eye makeup, very naughty, very 20s looking, very dark and deep, not very glamorously made smoky eye if you can see that. So as here also, very contrasted, very precise, black lash line, crisp brows, brows are not thick. From my viewpoint, it's a perfect thickness of the brows for Gamine's delicate facial bones. 
And here I found several pictures that I just wanted to show you. When they have slightly more blending and shimmer on their face, it can give them slightly tired looks sometimes. Romantic women, for example, would look amazing with that type of makeup, but not gamines. So here we can see lips are not very crisp, a lot of blush, some shimmer on the eyes, a lot of blending of the eyeshadow. Miroslava Duma. Also look at that crisp makeup. Look at that eyeliner. And you know, interesting, I noticed that if these girls are lining their eyes all around on the waterline as well, when they're making that crisp smoky eye, even if it's not blended, that also looks cool on them. They look amazing with smoky eye, with deep, deep color around their eyes. The only thing here is black colors, dark gray colors, matte eyeshadow. On these pictures, so you can see the outline is pretty sharp. It's not blended, it doesn't have those several eyeshadow shades. One goes to another, which gives loads of dimension to the eyes. They normally don't need that. Just black outline, slightly blended, they're good to go. Here's another Another example of that not very blended smoky eye looks very crisp, sharp, and precise. Geraldine Chaplin. In the 60s, it was very popular to have very thick eyeliner. She also has that very small signature thing in her makeup. It is the dot on her lower lid in the center. So again, you can see that she didn't do anything besides that sharp smoky eye. So continuing my makeup, I'm adding that very crisp red lips. So another makeup is done. Okay, let's add some more. So I'm picking that taupe purplish color and I'm making my eye crease more defined. As you can see, I'm also pulling the color towards my nose because again, the effect I wanna create here is more vertical makeup rather than elongated to the sides. And if I do blend on the outer corners, I'm blending it slightly upwards rather than to my temples. You can leave it all like that. If you do wanna add something on a lower lid, start with the center of your eye and then work upwards on the outer corners. It will help you to keep the eyes balanced. Start right under your pupil. Add some darkness with a smaller brush. You can try and make that line not very blended and just see how that looks. If that does look harsh on you and you don't like that look, just blend it a little bit. If you blend it a lot, make sure it's not pastel colors or very shimmery colors. It has to have slightly naughty effect rather than gentle feminine and glamorous. So instead of red lips, I'm gonna go back to the nude shade. I'm making it matte and crisp outline. Sometimes you can line your waterline with black pencil. It may look very chic on you, just try that. Then I take this purple brown color and I'm applying it all over my lid. I love this color particularly for myself because I have some greens on my eyes so it just pops but you can choose whichever color you like. Better if it's a dark color contrasted on your skin. Okay now let me intensify that look by adding more of that chunky eyeliner. I'm making that line very thick. I almost covered literally half of my lids. The most important thing here is not to drop my eyes on the sides. Keep in mind that you have to lift it, lift it up. So gamines normally are good to to go like that when their eyes and lips are pretty intense. They never look vulgar with that combination. Of course, if the makeup is done neat. So now I decided to powder my lips slightly, make them slightly lighter color, just to give that slightly 60s effect. And I'm done. All right, that's it. Stay tuned for the next type. And thanks to everyone who is supporting me on Patreon. I answer your questions there, so please subscribe. It's gonna be a huge support for me. Thank you guys and bye-bye.